Flickers is a fun and new formative assessment tool that you can use with your class. What really sold me on this website is that you only are required to have one device in the class in order for this to work. So as long as the teacher has an iPhone, an iPad, or an Android device, you can do this with your students. And it's so easy and quick to set up. It's a lot like what you've used clickers for in the past, um, except for rather than devices, your students are going to have these barcodes that you print out for them. Now after each class, they can throw them away and you can reprint them each time, or you can print them on something a little bit sturdier like cardstock, so that way they will last, whichever way is best for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go to plickers.com and create a free account. Once you're logged in, you're going to see some links up here at the top. The library link is where you're going to go to enter your questions. You have the choice to do multiple choice or true false. You can mark what the correct answer is over there to the right, but you're not required to specify a correct answer. So if you're wanting to just do an opinion survey um, in your class or with your student organization, then you would leave the correct answers blank. Once you've created your questions, they're all down here at the bottom. You'll see this little calendar icon, and that's to where you can add it to your plan. Now, a plan is just a class. Um, this is really beneficial for those teachers who teach multiple contents, and that way you're not going to have to scroll through all the questions within all of your content areas when you're doing this in the class. As long as you've added it to a plan and you have fourth period pulled up on your device, you can look at only the questions that are associated with that fourth period content. You'll also be able to see over here to the right which class you've given that assessment data to um, to show that it, it's got data recorded for it. You also have your reports link up at the top and this is where you can come back afterwards and look at the data. But it's also going to give you the data in real time on your device while you're scanning the student's barcode. Your classes link is where you're going to set up your classes. You'll just click here to add a new class and fill in the information. Once you have your classes set up, you'll open it up to add your students' names. Now you'll notice over here to the right, you have all of these different available cards. You have an option to use up to 64 barcodes per class. Now I know probably nobody has 60, oh, sorry, 63. Probably nobody has 63 students in their class, but this makes it really handy for those teachers who are wanting to use it with their student organizations as well. So you'll just type in the students' names. It will automatically assign the card number for them, um, or you can click the card and assign it yourself, whichever way you want to do. And then your last link is Live View. And this is going to be the view that you can project to your class over the projector if you so choose. It's going to give the students the questions and the answers. And then you have some options over here to the right. Um, you can either have it choose to show the answers um, or it'll just do a check mark for when people respond. Or you can also have it do the graph um, and you can do show correct as well. It's not going to show me the correct because in this particular question I set it up as just being a survey option and not having a right or wrong answer. So now that I've shown you the website, let's switch over and I will show you what it looks like from your device. So now to show you the device side of things so you can see it in action. The first thing that you want to do before you use this with students is, of course, create your classes. Um, but you need to go and print their cards. And you can do this before you create questions, after. It doesn't matter. The barcodes on the cards are never going to change. So once you click on your cards link, you're going to have some different options. You, have to, you get to choose between standard and expanded. And the only difference between that um, is the number of cards. Your standard is 40. Your expanded is 32. And when you click on them, I'll show you what it pulls up. It's going to print out two cards per sheet. Now on these cards, you're going to see it has the number right here. That's the number that you've assigned to the students. And then all around the edges here, you have your A, B, C, and D. And that's where your students are going to rotate the barcode depending on how they want to answer. So once you have your cards and they're printed out, and you're ready to give this assessment to your students, 
Over here on the right, it's going to show you what my device looks like. And over on the left, this is the website, which is Live View. This page is what you would be projecting to your students so that they can see the questions and the answer choices. So my Plickers app on my device is over here. It's the blue one that has the white papers. And when I open it up, it's going to show all of my classes here. I'm going to open up first period. So first period is going to show all the questions in the library. Right now, if you look up at the top, I have it selected as all. Or I can click on history to look at any questions that I had done in the past. Or I can look at planned, and these are going to be just the questions that I have assigned to my first period plan. So when I'm ready to give my first question to the students, I'm going to go through here and choose. I'm going to choose the last one. And you're going to watch the website changes automatically. I didn't have to do anything on it. So I'm going to ask the students this question and what they think the answer is. And I, on my device down here, this little camera button, I'm going to press that camera button and it's going to pull up my camera. So I've got some cards here that are printed out. Okay. We'll turn them around a couple different ways and do three so y'all can kind of see what it does. I guess you kind of have to be far back from it, which is not going to be a problem because your students are going to have it. Okay, and when I'm done, I'll notice right here, if you'll see on my device, nobody answered it correctly. It's also going to shade the students up there at the top. Um, if you have more, you can just scroll through this little list and it's going to show you all the students in your class. You're going to click on OK. It's going to show you on your device what the answers were. Um, over here on the left, it only shows the check marks unless I want it to show the class the answers. And then in that case, it's going to do it there. Um, you can also do it as a graph as well. So now I'm going to show you one more. I'm going to, on my device, go back to first period. I'm going to find another question. You'll see that my live view over there to the left changes automatically. So I'm going to click my camera button to start to scan. And I'm not touching anything on my device at all. So if you have the whole class holding these up, you can just kind of walk around the room like this and start to scan and it's going to pick them all up. Then I'm going to click on OK, shows me my answers there as well, and then I can go back. So there's Plickers on your device. I think it's a really awesome tool to use with your students, especially for formative assessment. I will say um, it is better for formative assessments because if you do want to take a grade for it, it is harder to come back here to reports and find your question and open it up and log how many students got it right and how many students got it wrong. So in that case, it is really good for just those moments when you kind of want to get the temperature of the room, see if students have gotten a concept or if they don't have a concept, and that way you can determine if you want to move on in your lesson or if you realize that you need to go back and repeat something that maybe somebody missed. So very awesome tool. It's called Plickers. You only need one device to use it.